<laughs> hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm Ashley. And this is Flat Broke Garage. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new, well, I appreciate you showing up. If you're a regular, thanks for watching. If you're a subscriber, you're the best. So if you guys have been following along on my channel and seeing other videos, you've seen my daughter, Ashley. She's a car girl. She, uh, we've done power door until we broke down. Yes. Well, we've done it a couple times though, even back when I was in high school. Yeah. So we've, we've done the power tour together a couple times. Um, the 64 Cyclone technically is Ashley's car. It is. Um, but uh, we haven't had the best luck on the power tour, you know. There's always something. We finished it in a U-Haul, though. We did do it in a U-Haul, so. We had plenty of room. We did. We had lots of room. But anyways, we're going to succeed on this. If you guys saw my last video, I traded a 1998 Chevy diesel van for this. It's a 1968 Ford Mustang. It's a uh, 289 car automatic. I'll put the Marty report up right here. And uh, it, it was, you know, fairly nice options. Had air conditioning, factory air, factory console. But uh, it was candy apple red. We don't, we don't. It's not going to be candy apple it's not red gonna be, ever we, again. We don't like the candy apple red or resale no. red. It's, it's not us. But uh, in the last video, I told my daughter that if she helps me work on this car, I will give it to her. Now, we had that 69 Mach 1. Yes, that was my favorite. And that, I was rebuilding it slowly in your shop when you weren't looking. And, and yeah, it, it, it had to go away. I mean, family, family comes first. Things yeah. happen. Things happen. But we have this. So what our plan is, we've dubbed this car the Flat Broke Mustang because it is. We're, flat Broke. We're I ain't flat, got no money. Neither one. We're, we're Flat Broke. But I do want to give her a running and driving safe car. So the plan is we're going to get a donor car. I'll show you the guys that later, possibly. Or I do have a 289 that's really wore out in my shop and a C4 transmission slips. So uh, we have two bad or worse options, you know. Take it apart slowly, like piece by piece. Piece by piece. But yeah, so I think we're going to go the donor car route where we just rip all that out, because I know it runs and drives, stuff it in here, drive it as is, maybe make the 289 better, and put the original 289 back in the car that it was born with. Not the original engine, but the engine it came with. Frankenstein it. Frankenstein it, yes. So, but uh, first off, what we got to do is we want to take in a walk around through the car, and um, this car sat at my buddy Steve's junkyard, since 1996 he didn't even know he had it anymore um if you go back i'll put a link to the other video down below you see us pulling it out of the junkyard and it it, it was buried it took two floor jacks to get the thing up off the ground i'll show you around here a bit and uh actually i'll give you a tour and this is the first time i really get to see it since yeah. it's been dug out of the woods yeah so yes this is her first tour of the car so let's give her a look Do you fit? I fit. It's just, well, the seat fit. The seat's not bolted. Uh -uh. So it does have a key. Those are spinners here. There's four of those. They were, uh, there's one up on the dash and spider webs. Ooh, friends. <laughs> Ooh, spider webs. Ooh, look. Yes. So those are on the wheels. I'm really not a big fan of those. It's made in USA. Oh, well, made in USA. So USA. You know, that's kind of cool. Uh, it does have a key. What does the key say on it? It says Track Rock Speed Shop. Has anybody ever heard of Track Rock Speed Shop? Yeah, here. It's written. It's written on there. So this car was from, last it was titled was in North Georgia. What's in the ashtray? Haven't even looked. Damn. Is there hey. something in there? What? Another key. <laughs> Another, hey, yeah, normally we don't have any keys. Now we actually have two keys. Yeah, this is nice. That's hey, cool. look, one shiny part. The lighter. <laughs> it's yeah. the only shine. The only, look, that's now that's where the USB port is. Like, Ooh. Which phone charger goes yeah. there. Yeah, so, yeah, it's got the uh, aftermarket 
horrible steering wheel. Complimentary snake skin. Snake skins. <laughs> so fancy. There I you hate go. the snakes. Um, it was a console car. So the console's missing, sadly. I, I don't know what happened to the dash here. If this is part of the console or... There was a bee's nest in it. And, well, yeah, that comes More standard. Friends. Yes. What's in the glove box? Ooh. Ooh. That's the AC vent for There's a one bulb. of these sides. Interior bulb. Interior bulb or a marker light. or Oh, look, another key. What's this? Is it another key? Ew. Ew, it's gross. Open it up. What is that? Might be the title. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a title. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. I gotta be really careful. Because it's falling apart. Oh, wow. Would that be cool if that's a title? Yep. Oh, no, it's a build sheet. It's a tag. That's the build sheet. Look it? at this. Oh, no, no. This isn't a build sheet. It's a tag. Yeah, this is the state the of Georgia application for registration. There you go. Is there a date on it? Can you see anything? Another snake skin. Last person that had it, their name was Barbara. No, don't say the last name. Yet. No, it's just Barbara's first name. That's the only name that's on there. Barbara. It's a Barbara car. It uh, it's so washed out that no it address. Is, wait, wait. There's an address, but it's faded out. You can't see it. Mm -mm. Oh, that sucks. There's a. That's a factory Ford wire loom. We'll, we'll do some more investigating on that. Maybe let it dry out a bit. I don't know about I don't know. that. Uh, how many miles does it have? 96,000. 96? Yeah. Probably 196. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, I mean, these seats, I don't know. Are you Mustang guys watching? Are these later miles? <laughs> I peed a little. <laughs> <laughs> <Are they>? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You're, it's like when you miss a step on the stairs. <laughs> Damn, I'm <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, God. <laughs> it, uh, are these really Mustang seats? Yeah. Um, I threw this in here. I had a, this is an aluminum Mustang radiator. Are you going to be okay over there? Um, it's an aluminum Mustang radiator I had in the other building. I just threw it in here. <laughs> um, we got a not factory red, the, the interior was red, gold back seat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, oh. yeah, we uh, take a look under the hood here. Hi, good. With the hood lifted off, which we did, it has, uh, you know, it has no drivetrain. It's solid. It's holding me. It, it is solid. But the, um, according to the Marty report, it was a power steering car. So somebody deleted on that leaky power steering and uh, replaced it with manual steering. It has a choke cable. Um... I ordered new master cylinder and brake parts for this. But, uh, well, here's a problem. So that's where the hood hinge went. And I don't know what kind of butchery went on. It looks like they tried to heat the bolts up to get them off, but they literally destroyed that. So that has to be cut out and uh, sectioned in with another piece. It still has the factory buck tag on it. Yeah. Look at that. So, still holding on, yeah. I don't know if you guys can make it out, but it's uh 08, which is 68, 29B, which I think is the uh red, um, Something yeah, red. the part, the coupe, not the fastback. It says red air power steering, PS air conditioning, and it said red, red there. So this is for when the car was going down the assembly line. I guess people were little cheat sheets, so they knew what they had. Uh, I never, I don't know how many Ford cars had this. I've had a lot of Ford cars. Never ever had one with a buck tag, other than I think a Galaxy had one. Here's another interesting thing, Mustang guys. I kind of want your help. The uh, radiator that I have should fit 
right in this core support, which by the way, is not rusty at all. But it looks like somebody butchered upon the core support and made it much bigger. I think somebody was trying to race this car or thought they were racing this car. And uh, from the looks of, I think they put uh, spring helpers in the front. I think they tried running a big block or something in here, but they put a lot more radiator in here. The, uh, yeah, I don't know if they butchered it. They did a good job butchering it. But it's hard to see. Now, see you can that? see there's a bunch of clues here that this fender has been replaced. It's green here, which is one of my favorite colors. It's a nice green. Then they repainted it with the uh, candy apple red, which doesn't look like they even sanded this before they painted it the black. Mm -mm. So, yeah, so we know that the door was, that door was blue originally. This fender was green. Um, oh, look at this. Look at the, once again, I don't know what they did here. The shock tower. There's something stuck in here. The shock tower is all cobble welded. I don't know if this would cracked, but that's some really ugly welding going on there. Let's see this. Oh yeah, oh, there's, a, there's a nut from the valve cover. Fell down inside the motor mount. That was a speed nut. Huh, for the valve cover. Yeah, that's stuck. That's in there. But all in all, it's in really good shape. How many cars you see come out of a junkyard that still have a battery box in them? That's what Hell, I was looking at. <laughs> let alone this whole unibody. There's no rust. Uh, let's take a look in the trunk. All right. right here. Up in the hole there? Yeah, it lines up yeah. where it goes yeah. in that hole. I know. It's got to go in there straight here. I got it straight. There. There you go. There. There's more nests. These nests. So there Ooh, is. Look at the mirror. Yeah, there's a mirror. Those are the uh, sill plates for when you get inside the door. Careful. Yep. Um, there's a C4 cross member for the transmission. Um, part of. Ew. A window regulator. Uh, that is a transmission selector arm that goes from the shifter to the transmission. Those are the, uh, I don't know what you call those. Bars, some kind of, uh, oh look, there's the air conditioner vent. There's the other air, air vent. Those are what you call uh, Monte Carlo bars or braces or whatever they are. They actually unbolt on a Mustang, not on a uh, Comet. So well, that's kind of cool. Oh, it's the uh, backlight. Look at it. But here's something interesting. See those little things on the lights? Those little plastic plugs? This? Yeah, you know what those are? Those are to hook up trailer lights or auxiliary lights. Those are sold by U-Haul. So I don't know if this thing had a trailer hitch on it at one time. That or they dragged it. Yeah. So, but uh, all in all, it's really solid. Ew. Trunk is super solid. Um, I put the other video, I had a light in. Go inside the quarters are real good. Look at bolts. Bolts, yes, a jar full of bolts. JFG, premium quality bolts. What is in there? It's like a, what is that? Can you get it open? Yeah, I'll trade you. All right. Oh. You got it? Yeah. Disgusting sound. What is that? That's obviously car part. And that other part goes with it. For a rear view mirror, maybe? The rest are just, just nuts and bolts. Those are trim screws, yeah. I think, from inside. The mirror, I don't know. Yeah. Put the lid back on. It's an antique. But, uh, oh look, it's got the hijacker sticker. The old school, see it? The hijacker air oh, shock sticker. Yeah. And it does have air shock. There's the little thing you fill it up with. And the red paint. So, still a really solid car. Smells damp. It's, yeah, it smells, yeah, it smells so old. So what the real plan is with this car is we're not going to paint it or make it fancy or anything. But what we did on the Cyclone that was covered in primer, we wet sanded it all off and buffed it. We're going to 
we're gonna have to haul this car up to my shop right Ashley <laughs> and uh, we're gonna put some brakes on it we're gonna pressure wash it we're gonna wet sand this primer off kind of give the car a buff so it doesn't look like as bad of a car as it is we're gonna try and make it look better give you a little demonstration here see if we can bring some of the shine back to this thing Mud. so basically what we're gonna do is we got some uh, 600 grit wet sand we're gonna knock some of the primer off and then hit it with some 2000. And we'll get a little rubbing compound. And we're gonna see how well this cleans up. Ooh, look at that. I know, it's very satisfying, isn't it? Oh, I could do it all day. All right, well, you're going to because you've got to do the whole car. happy with the results slick slick look at that now that was just maybe 10 minutes not even of uh just 600 grit 2000 grit just quick sand rinse and uh buff this stuff works great i am not sponsored by them this ultimate finish tri cut really cool stuff but if we can make the whole car look like that, it'll be way less bad, won't it, Ashley? I'd say so. You'll have pride in driving it. It'll match me. Yay. We're going to have to get this up to the shop, going to get some brakes put on it, and we're going to wet sand and buff the car out. And then we're going to have to go get a donor car and see about getting this put back together. Well, in order to make the Mustang movable so we can pull it up to my shop, work on it, and bring it back down, I gotta fix the frozen brakes. I think this one's froze and that one's froze. Now I had the wheel off earlier and I just kind of beat on it and that got us nowhere. So I'm gonna take the wheel off again and I'm gonna beat on it again, but this time better. So let's get this one off and see if we can get it moving. Let's Well, I really didn't get the camera turned on, but uh, basically I just put the spring back on, put that brake shoe back on, and put it back together. So this one now rolls. The bearings got a little more fiber in them now, but uh, all it's got to do is roll up to the shop and stuff. So one done, one to go. Oh, so basically we just did a rinse and repeat on this side. Just beat the brake drums so they came loose and pull them off and backing plates came off so just throw the brake <laughs> just throw a drum back on now and we got plenty of turn so all four wheels should spin that's a big plus <sighs> maybe just bolt a seat in so somebody can sit in there and steer it and we're ready to get it up to the shop climb into the flat broke garage Secret deep storage parts depot here. I have. Let's see. Look at this. I'm going to have to check, but I think a 64 Comet and Mustang are close to the same. So I got these complete backing plates. I can just bolt right on. Got both of those. I got the drums. So 
there's more drums. All kinds of crap in here. Extra Torino doors. Tri-5 Chevy running boards. Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, just stuff. I don't know. You guys might have seen this if you watched a lot of the videos, but it's a 96 short bed four-wheel drive that I bought. I was going to get this thing going, but like I said, I got to start eliminating on stuff. And I think I sold this truck to my buddy, Tony. So, I mean, it's, it's clean, except for the seat. But, uh, yeah, yeah, more stuff to get rid of. Well, it's the next day, and progress has been made. The flat broke Mustang has made it up to the shop. This is a good thing. I've also kind of taken a little closer look at the car and found it's got a couple more issues, I guess. And a couple things I misdiagnosed because I don't know a lot about Mustangs, I found out. When I thought the uh, core support had been butchered, it's actually, I guess in 67 or 68, they changed the core supports and they made them bigger for bigger radiators. Obviously, they were putting bigger engines in them back then. So I was wrong on that. The reason I thought I was right is because I had a radiator for 65, 66 Mustang. I thought they're all the same, not even close. They're really narrow little things. So that's good news for this. So I can get a big honking radiator for this thing. Um, also, I found some damage I didn't notice before. I'll bring you down and show you. So I'm bringing bring you under here. You know, I did a video underneath the car. The car is really clean, but I want to show you kind of some of the damage I found that I never really saw. And it's kind of interesting, but I think they call these a radius arms. They kind of keep the uh, lower control arm in place. Those rubber bushings here and the sway bar, sway bar link. That's all good. Let's venture over here. Over here, not so good. You can see the radius arm is radius. It has been pushed into the sway bar. Those are all bad things. The interesting thing is that the wheels are straight. So I don't, I don't know <laughs> if somebody's driving it like this, but uh, I think we're going to need some front end parts. So I got to get a radius arm. I think lower, lower control arm, sway bar, sway bar. But uh, it looks like. It looks like they hit something here, like, but nothing else appears to be damaged. Everything else is still good. And like I said, this is a rock solid car. So I'm just really excited because bolt on parts are a lot easier to replace than weld on parts. I've ordered about $600 in parts for this car and about $83 in parts have shown up. I try, I got a master cylinder. I put it on. But I didn't get my wheel cylinders, brake hardware, and all that nonsense. So the master cylinder really it ain't doing nothing because the wheel cylinders are just plus. This is for the daughter to do. We're going to make it run, drive, and be safe. Lights work. It's just basic up, down, left, right, rabbit, turtle kind of thing, you know? And she can add to it. She can make it better. I just want to make it drive and leave. So... My next issue is just coordinating with my daughter. She lives about an hour and a half away, and I had her set up to come out. We were going to kind of wash the car, get it cleaned up, and put the brakes on it, but it didn't work out. So this project's kind of come to a stall for now, until I gather up all the parts. Um, but I do have some good news. Let me show you what's going on. So I'm kind of moving cars around. I got the Cyclone out because it's car season. And uh, I'll be parking it down in this building. But the reason that this is out is because the Falcarino is back in the shop. I am actually picking up the motor. The motor is finished. For those of you, this is your first time to the channel. This is a 1970 and a half Ford Falcon. It's a 56,000 original mile car. It ain't pretty, but she's fun to drive. It had a 250 cubic inch six cylinder, which I just shipped out and made better. Um, kind of went through the whole engine. We got pistons, cam, went with a better head, a little later model with hardened seats. 
So the Falcarino engine will be in, should be my next video. We'll be driving this. So this is all good news. So, but as you can see, she's all kind of cleaned up. I kind of, you know, rattle can rebuilt the uh, engine bay here. Uh, got the rest of the parts ready to bolt on. The fan are all cleaned up. This should be back on the road soon. I hope so, because I really want to drive this thing. So the Falcarino, <laughs> she'll be back on the road. I'm excited, man. I can't wait. I really like this car. I know it's a nothing car, but I tell you, I really am excited. I do plan to drive it back to the dealership that sold it. I have been in contact with them. I do want to take it back up there. That might be its first long road trip. Be a cool video. My plans were to take that on Hot Rod Power Tour. Right now, it's looking a little sketchy. I don't know if I'm going to make it on the Power Tour. The car will be ready, but I don't know if I will. Might have some family obligations. But we're going to try. Maybe part of it. If you want to follow along, I'm also on Facebook and Instagram, Flat Broke Garage and Flat Broke Garage TN, Instagram. And you can follow my daughter on Instagram on Ashes68Stang. I'll put it up here. And you can follow along her progress on the car, too. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. The Mustang will be on the road. We'll see you later. Bye.